Things just aren't the same as they used to be. I don't think anyone ever really liked me. Even Blackie ran away when I forgot to feed him just the once. I don't think the old ones took to me in a big way either. Good luck, Slim. Those were the exact words Father used to sent me off into the world. I remember them well because he was... Mm -hmm giving me the hardest punch of my life at the time. Not that he hadn't dealt me some hefty blows in the past, but this is an especially hard one to remember him by. That was how he reminded him of when he wanted his beans. Not that she wasn't handy with the crowbar. She never spared any disciplinary measures on me. How I loathed them. How I loathe my sister Maxie. Maxie, they called her. Maximum bone structure and maximum grief. Oh, she was horrible. A hideous, overbearing girl who, who never tired of grinding me into the dust with her superior physical construction. And then she'd get my friends and take them into her bedroom for evil and tell lies about me that I had four testicles and a thin curly penis and that I wore a wig. 
Uh, let's use the horror. Whenever I try to lure her acquaintances into the room, they just they just laugh at me. They can always find something to laugh about. And they never tired of telling me what was wrong with me. That I was too skinny. And I had an enormous nose and that I had a long neck. And they used to torture me by tying me up and putting chips down my underpants so Blackie could eat them. Oh, they tie me up everywhere. They tie me up to trees in the middle of winter. And then they'd hose me down or they'd tie me to the back of their motorbikes and make me run along behind them or tie me to lampposts so people could laugh at me. And they were always forcing things down my throat. Bottles of tomato sauce, bags of sand, bags of flour. Live skinks. Any conceivable thing they could shove down my throat, they'd do it. <laughs> Weren't we the happy little nuclear family? Mum and Dad and 1.7 children. 0.7 for me. And all the things they'd beaten off me. Oh, I can remember Mother and Maxie lying on the floor as Father broke my nose for the last time. Picking up cans and, and hurling them down the corridor at me as I tried to get away. I grabbed one that bounced off Father's head and, and I ran. And I could hear them crying in the background, Thief! Thief! Stop! What are you on about? Pardon? Pardon? You heard me. I hear music.
fine dog, Glenn. Come on, come on. <laughs> 